In this video, I want to show you the circuit and program that are, you can use to interface the ESP8266 with your Arduino board. So we're going to write a program that lets you use the Arduino's serial monitor window. So you can send commands to your Wi-Fi module. So that's the reset command, for example. This is the firmware command the CW mode command so this is the program that we will be writing there is a limitation to this program and that is that you cannot send strings that are longer than 64 characters that's because the Arduino can only read 64 characters at a time so before I give you the software let me show you the schematic that I have so this is my Wi-Fi module this is my Arduino Uno and I also have a 3.3 volts regulator so I'm powering up my Arduino from the USB port actually and I'm using this ground pin and from the in that's gonna be the input to my regulator and the output of the regulator would be 3.3 volts and that is what I'm using to power up my Wi-Fi module so this is the schematic the regulator that I'm using is this one so you can look it up uh, just make sure that when you buy it this is the uh, number that it has because there are actually several versions of the 1117 regulator that are 5 volts or 1.2 volts or just different voltages so make sure that it has V 3.3 or V 3.3 at the end so now that you know the regulator that I'm using and the circuit, let me show you the software. So this is the software, very simple. I'm creating a software serial object for the ESP8266. This is where I, I will be connecting my TX pin. So this is a pin that receives data from the EXP, I mean ESP. This is a pin that sends data to the ESP. That means that I have to connect the receiving pin of the ESP to here. So pin two is gonna go to the TX pin. Pin three is gonna go to the RX pin. and the baud rate of course might be different for your module so that is the only thing that you have to worry about that is the only number that you have to change everything else should stay the same so inside my while loop i check whenever there is data coming in from my module and if there is then i simply print it out and when there's data coming in from the serial window which is when I type something then I send it to the ESP so that is the entire code that you need I hope you find it useful thank you for watching